Hello guys! Welcome to the next video tutorial for corals and sea fishes pattern of the month for my Patreon program. Today I'm going to be doing outline for this blue coral and I'm gonna stitch one of those uh, fishes. Which one do you want to stitch first? You can choose in the uh, in the chat if you want the left one or the right one. So uh, for outlining, I'm gonna use this color. This is gamma, and this is DMC. I'm gonna fix my hoop stand. If you want to stitch with me, this uh, pattern is available on uh, Etsy, right? Oh, sorry, not Etsy. It's on Patreon right now. All the newest patterns and kits are available on Patreon first, and then they go to Etsy. So I will release it on Etsy. Um, in the beginning of next month it's it's probably going to be next week good morning melanie i'm gonna use one strand and i would like to show you one more time maybe you, you didn't see how i start my thread when i have only one strand or three strands uh, which is not possible to start with the loop so I go under my stitches I make one long stitch under my stitches and I make one short back stitch and I make one more back stitch and it's usually enough to fix your thread and there is no additional uh, knots as you can see so this is how you can uh, stitch without knots okay i will zoom it so you will see all the details one minute okay so let's start stitching so as you can see I use it uh, here I use it uh, two strands and split stitch for outlining and for me it doesn't look great so I will try one strand and stamps uh, split stamp stitch right and I'm gonna use stamp stitch so this should create a solid line let's see how it's gonna look like I'm using the smallest needle for one strand I'm using uh, DMC needles and I'm using those uh, which are the smallest it's number three Good morning, Anna. How was your weekend? I had a Friday as weekend. We went to the sea for a little bit. And then I was lazy working Saturday. And then I had one more weekend yesterday. <laughs> Mm. 
today I was back in uh, Etsy kits and a few Patreon kits. And after this live stream, I will ship it and send uh, a notifications about your shipping details and everything else. So this is how it looks like. I think it's better than uh, split stitch using two strands because I like it much more better. If I will make outlining using split stitch, let's see how it's gonna look like. I think the border will not be visible. Um, let's try. It's it's probably hard to see this border. Yeah, I think stamp stitch is much better for this. What do you think? Stamp stitch is a winner, right? Okay, so I will make some few more stitches to make this border visible at all. If it was black floss, I think um, stamp stitch or back stitch would work well for one strand of floss because uh, it, it couldn't be a lot of contrast with black, so it would work. But with this color, I think it will be better to, to make it strong, to make it black to look stronger using split stitch is not really working. What is the weather on your state? I heard that there was a hurricane on on Texas. In Ukraine it's a little bit windy right now. And for fresh knots, I will use two strands of floss. Um, I will do it once I finish outlining, probably. Because currently I'm using one strand. So 
so hot and sunny everywhere. It's not sunny here, it's, it's a little bit dark and windy and we will probably have some rain. But I'm positive about rain because it was, yeah, it was hot last day, so we need some rain here. Sherry loves the sound of needle and thread. I would like to have some birds singing, but uh, it's windy outside and dogs are barking, so I don't open my window right now. Oops. Okay, I need to jump far away. It's too long distance to jump. I usually do it on the back side. If I need jump from here to this place, I would rather hide my thread under my previous stitches and do like this. So there is no long stitch on the back, so the, your back side stays beautiful. If you one of the people like me, you will, <laughs> you will care about the back side too. This is all about perfectionist. But it's not always good. It's basically not really good because if you want to do something, you need to make it perfect. And it's not always possible to make it perfect. And um, it can take a lot of time to make it perfect. So. If you prepare some something for people and then trying to make it perfect and don't publish it, so you can probably not publish it. Never. <laughs> Never publish it and nobody will see it because you think it's not perfect. So that's some issues with that. So and I'm trying to to work on that. Before I was recording videos um, and then I was editing those videos for days and only after three or four days working on the video I published it. So and then I was thinking how can I make it faster because I want you to see my videos faster so I decided to make live streams because those perfect videos take a lot of time sometimes it take a week to make one video like you saw about pink ocean and videos i did previously each video could take about a week to make so i couldn't do anything else because I was working on my new video. So guys, please let me know. What do you like the most? Perfect videos with perfect editing and music and everything else? Or videos like that? 
just live stream me talking to you and stitching in a real time. Okay, so live streams are better. Okay, I will know it <laughs> for later, but I probably will do those perfect videos from time to time. But it's really hard to make time for them. It's about one week to make one video and I don't know where to get okay. one additional week. <laughs> anymore maybe someday oops probably there's a note on the back side what's going on videos take so long you need to sit down and record your stitching process it can take one day and in the end of the day you can be tired and you cannot do anything else so next day you download your videos from your camera and yeah you edit it and video editing takes one more day to make it if you need to make a voiceover it's one more additional day so it's already three days and then you can release it you need to make a newsletter and everything like that so people will know that you publish a new video what is that so it's one more day so four days straight you are working on one video I hate it I didn't want that not okay what to do I will I will need to finish this strand because it's not working so Anna Beatrice if you are trying to work on on the video maybe try to do live stream If I was just a YouTuber, so it was okay, so I would work on four videos, on, on video during the week and I could make four videos per month. It was super, it was just super, but I need to do other things like Patreon stuff and managing my Etsy shop, a lot of things to do.
Okay, I turn it on my conditioner because it's too hot. Okay, let's continue. Hot. Yeah, for the podcast, I I needed to shadow whole day because it takes a lot of time to record so, the sound, and you know my English is not perfect, but I already have prepared the script, so I will be telling my story. Soon, probably soon. I will post uh, it on um, this week. It's July 27. So I'm gonna post it on on Wednesday or Thursday. I wonder, guys, uh, if you were my patron on uh, February or January when we were stitching pink um, pink pansies. Did you like that fabric? Uh, I also used this gabardine fabric for that project, uh, and I wonder if you were comfortable to stitch on this on this fabric because I will probably use it uh, for all uh, patron projects uh, for Melanie like it gabardine so and I'm glad I found um, a local shop which has uh, a lot of colors so we could use many colors I would also like to stitch with you on black fabric something maybe some roses or and some flowers on black fabric
Oh, I forgot to post uh, a poll to vote for our next project, but I think it's going to be flamingos because many people voted for flamingos last time, but it was hard to choose because um, we needed to choose between corals and flamingos, and many of you are now wanted flamingos so i think this month we are next month we will be stitching flamingos and i'm excited okay so i'll need to finish this thread so i'll make a loop right here under my previous stitches I need two strands to make French knots. So I'm using the same color root, but it's two strands. I will be stitching here and then I move here and oh you don't see it so I have a long strand so I will plan to stitch from here and then I will move here and then here and then continue here and I will end up here so I hope I have enough thread to do this So I'll start my thread here. my hands it because you don't have a uh, manicure <laughs> you usually had uh, such a nice nails and I love your new haircut and the hair color it would be awesome if you would make one strand of pink or purple But my hands, they tell me that I need to make a new nail soon. So I'm doing French knots and I'm wrapping two times and one time so there are little variations and I make bigger and smaller French knots
and you can also make uh, you can also wrap your needles three times You can use th three strands of floss if you want to make your French knots to be a little bit bigger. It's totally up to you. Mm. The nails are my own, but they are covered with gel, so they are strong. And for this finger, I even don't need uh, any, how to say in English, наперсток. Как будет наперсток? I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, it happens. So my nail is strong, so I don't have any pain in this nail. I like where my nails have covered with um, gel, gel, so it's comfortable to stitch them. <laughs> You can fill this area with satin stitch if you want. I decided to go with French knots. But you can do the stitch type which you feel will be suitable here. Sometimes when I don't like French knot which like pops out and not perfect, I can uh, fix it. I'll show you how. So I fix it with... So I want to fix it with it on this side. So I will just make one teeny stitch and do this. So now you see where I'm stitching. So I now I choose French nails because it's it's not visible where my nails when my nails are growing, so it looks nice any time because I don't want to go to make nails so often it's not safe here nobody wears masks so it's a risk every time 
but I had to do that because it was such a pain in my pain in my fingers when I'm stitching a lot. I lost my thread. <laughs> I need to thread it again. Yeah, this pattern is very... it has a lot of details, but it's not uh, complicated at all. It's basically made of satin stitches, a little bit of long and short stitches, French knots, outlining, and nothing complicated. It just has a lot of objects but it's not complicated to do. It will take a lot of time, yes. It will make you busy for one week or maybe more. But I have uh, a fast and uh, easy project. Um, this is Corals. And you can find uh, the pattern on my Patreon. And it's made of French knots only, but I use it variated thread. So I started from the light color and the thread changed the color. And here I use it darker thread. So I use it only two skeins of thread. I finished it almost variated skein of threads and a little bit of dark red. And it took me about one day to stitch this small coral, but it's it looks really really great. I like it. Do I like doing 3D embroidery? I didn't do it yet, but I would like to try. <laughs> I think it's not really complicated, but it will take a lot of time for sure, I think. Maybe in the future we would have a Patreon project for 3D and we will all learn a new technique and I will I would learn with you because every month we are challenging each other so we are stitching something new for example I didn't stitch birds before and I will try it uh, next month with flamingo I 
I guess I'll do it. Okay, so I will continue this coral in later and let's switch to some fish. So which fish should I stitch? Left one or the right one? Let's stitch this one. Yeah, I am also would like to stitch left one. So this is orange fish. I don't know what the name is. Um, last stream we call it this fish. We call it her Angelina. Oh, this is a crown fish. Okay, so we need to name it. Because we have Angelina <laughs> by Dominica. We have Angelina already and we need to call her friend. Wait one minute, I will open the color map to see which colors we need to use. Okay, so we will use up I keep colors in the in the part of the box from <laughs> Patreon like that. I love those boxes. I can keep my project in this box while I'm working on it. So the colors a little bit a mess here but sorry okay so this is going to be this color and this one and this one and the black and white so five colors I'll start from the orange. Okay, it's cold already. <laughs> I'm gonna use two strands and um, I will do everything using just satin stitch and then I will outline it with black so the black color will be in the end the same way as I did this fish it's just a sudden stitch and outlining so not complicated at all <laughs> okay, so it's going to be Frank. Frank and Angelina. Okay. 
So I will do uh, stitches direction. I will do horizontal stitches for every color. So um, everything will look consistent. If I would change stitches direction, it would it wouldn't like look as perfect as this green fish. It looks like a machine vibrato, probably. You can go different way, you can outline it first using black floss and then just stitch all the rest the ground. Um, but you need to be careful when you are stitching, you shouldn't touch outlining. I know many people do this way. But I like when I finish and I only then do outlining when because um, outlining stitches they go on top of all the previous stitches and the, they hide um, maybe some distance between uh, different colors so as a result it looks much better than if I would outline it first and then fill in all the spaces. So I like this fabric because I can go precisely to the place I need and so I can make those perfect edges for satin stitch. So this is why I like this fabric. And it doesn't make holes when I do my stitches. So many notifications. Okay, we have this color here and probably in the other places mm. yeah we have it also here and here and here yeah and also here here so if you have um, such pen 
just hitting erasable pen like this you can mark all the places when you need to do this the same color and so then you you don't need to watch on the color map when you're stitching I wore cross stitching before and I also like it to to finish um, one color and then I was switching to another color but you can uh, do it uh, with several needles and threads when you stitch you can just leave it on somewhere on the left side probably and switching between between them okay I'll finish this thread later I need a new one So how do you think is going on in your country with um, with the virus? In my city nobody wears masks. Only sometimes in uh, in the shop, but outside nobody wears masks anymore. And it becomes uh, more and more cases with the virus in my city. Terrible. Many people still don't believe that this virus exists. And they just ignore it and do what they want. What about uh, protests? Does they still happening?
you can make uh, probably uh, patches with those fishes. You can transfer a pattern to the water erasable stabilizer and stitch it on felt and then just cut it and you can uh, sew it directly on your um, jacket or maybe hat or something you want to put it on and you make ha you may have um, some of those fishes as patches so this is an idea for you I want to do a tutorial uh, for patches. I want to make it the same uh, way as I did for pincushion. Um, but I need to make time for this. Because it will take about four days to make. I would like to still have uh, quick tutorials with stunning videos and live streams as well because uh, different people like different content. Somebody likes to, to watch a quick tutorial and they don't want to watch long live stream videos like that. And I um, still don't have time to make vlogs. I tried, I made videos, but I don't I still don't have time to, for editing, so I think I will never have time for that. And I'm not sure if uh, should I publish it on my current um, Should I publish it here on this channel or maybe should I create a separate channel for this because it's completely different kind of content so it can confuse people maybe I don't know um, what are your suggestions <laughs> um, I made one video for metallic shreds uh, it's the first video for uh, Queen Bee and it's public for YouTube as well but all the rest videos for Queen Bee are for Patreon only Yeah, you can feel free to share it. One thing I noticed is that when I make 
uh, live streams like that. So this was an experiment for for YouTube. What will happen if I will make all live streams uh, available for public? And it actually grows my YouTube channel really fast. So I'm thinking maybe I will make tutorials for everyone. But if someone you want to stitch this pattern as well, he can subscribe to my Patreon. So what do you guys think about it? I'm still experimenting with the content for YouTube and trying to understand what is the best for people who watches my videos and what is the best for me because for me it's easier just to go live and make a live tutorial instead of many days of editing I just don't have that time So this video, guys, is literally sponsored by my patrons. Because my patrons are the best people who cares and who supports me. So this way I can do what I do. That sound. This is because of the fabric on the back. Because I use it, this time I use it cotton fabric. Um, and this fabric on the top, it doesn't make any sound like this. But this fabric, it actually make that sound. And I'm thinking to use um, maybe different fabric, maybe some kind of stabilizer or something like that. I don't like this sound actually. I have one more idea how I can make videos for YouTube. I could make a quick um, time lapses. And I can turn probably, if I usually stitch one or two hours for my patrons, I can make time lapses and post a quick videos 
and if if you want to see the full video with normal speed you can join to patreon and we will have access to that exclusive videos how the, how about that so this way i am i can make exclusive videos for patrons and for youtube as well yes so i will do them this way And also for YouTube, I can make videos like this, like I did with small patterns, which I make every month, and they can also be available on YouTube. So... It can work for me and for you as well. Okay, so you probably got it, how you can stitch this, this fish. So you just fill the background with satin stitch and then you outline it with black and your fish is done. So we can watch uh, outlining for this fish from my last video tutorial and complete this one and I will probably go I need to ship your patron kits and Etsy kits today so I still have time to work on it and ship it and I wishing you happy Monday if your day just started Thank you so much for watching. It was so nice to talk to you. See you next time. I will go live the same time. I will need to go live every day since uh, starting from today because we have a lot of objects to stitch. We have one more fish and uh, one, two, three, four corals. So I will go live every day, I will go tomorrow at the same time, and, and Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday, till I will finish, so see you probably tomorrow. I will notify you with the link, and you will see when I go live, so be, be there. Thank you so much, bye guys!